Hey all, this is my fifth video for the learning of areas in C and in this we are going to discuss how can we perform insertion and deletion in an array. So insertion and deletion are the major operations which have to be performed on any data structure we have. Here in arrays insertion and deletion is performed by shifting the elements from their positions. So let's first understand the concept of insertion. So if I have an array which already has certain numbers and I want to insert a number in between somewhere. So that's inserting in an array. How do we insert that? If I have to insert at the end, that's not a problem. I can just put the value at the end. But if I have to insert somewhere in between, like if I have to insert a number 50 at position 3, that is over here, I cannot do it directly because there is already a value. And where would that value go? So we need to shift the elements like the element at position 5 should move to position 6. So here we should get 56. 42 should shift here. 60 should shift here so that I get 50 at this place. So it's a very simple thing like you people are standing in a queue. If there are already 6 people standing in the queue and for some reason someone comes between at position 3. So obviously the one who was at position 3 moves to position 4. The one who was at 4 moves to position 5. And the same thing we need to do in areas over here. So let's see how does it work. First of all, element at position A5 is shifted to A6. So 56 goes to A6 in this example. Then element at position A4 is shifted to A5. Then element at position A3 is shifted to A4. So I have shifted the required values backwards in the array. And now A3 can be overwritten because its value has already been shifted to a4. So A3 is the place where we have to insert the new value. So now since we have reached A3, we will overwrite it and we will put 50 in there. So as you can see here, we get the new number at this position. So your number is inserted in the array at the required position. One more thing we need to do over here is we need to increase n by 1 because n was initially 6, now it should become 7 since there are 7 elements in the array now. If doing this, your array L is full like n becomes 10 and you want to insert more then it won't be possible since the array is already full. So that's how insertion works in arrays and the basic algo for this could be we have to read the array and then we have to read the position and the number position where you have to insert and the number which you have to insert We'll start the loop from backwards, so I should start from n and have to repeat step 4 and 5 till we reach to the positions. So we have to repeat till i is greater than the position. What we have to do is we have to move the elements backwards. So ai should be assigned ai minus 1. Like in this given example, n was 6. So first a6 will get the value of a5, then i decreases, becomes 5, checks the condition, come back over here, then again ai is equal to ai apply minus 1, so a5 gets the value of a4, then a4 gets the value of a3, and finally 3 greater than 3 is false, so it stops and come out. And then this line, step 6, set a position is equal to num, puts the number at the given position, and we increase the value of n by 1 to reflect the changes in the number of elements in the array. So this was the basic algo. Now let's see how do we code for it. So we have an array which is of size 10 and I have put initially only 6 elements in that. So by default rest of the elements become 0, n is taken as 6. Then we are displaying like array before insertion is this, we are just displaying the initial array. Now what we have to do is we have to ask the user to enter the number to be inserted and the position where it has to be inserted. So we ask like enter the number to be inserted and its position. So we have to input two integers. We'll write percentage d twice. The first one should come to the number and second one should come to the position. So we got the numbers here. So we've got the numbers and now we need to put a loop which is going to shift the elements. So I should start from n, I should be greater than position minus 1 
Why do we take position minus 1? Because if user says fourth position, that is index 3 for us. So we have to take position accordingly. And what we have to do is we have to shift AI minus 1 at AI. And I is decremented every time. So this loop is going to do the shifting. And finally, once the shifting is done, you have to place the new element at its position. So we write A position minus 1 is equal to num. That stores the new number at the required position. And we write N plus plus to increase the number of elements present in the array. And then we are displaying the array on the screen. So the major thing is your this loop, which is performing the shifting and making a space for the new element. Let's execute this. So here's my initial array. Let's say I want to insert the number at position 4. And what I want to insert is 77 at position 4. So here we get 77 at position 4. If I run it again. Now this time I want to enter 20 at position 2. So you get 20 at position 2. So this is how insertion is performed in arrays by shifting the elements backwards. So we need to shift the elements backwards. That's why we are starting from the last position and we are going up to the position where the value has to be inserted. I hope this is clear to you. So this is insertion in an array. Now the next operation we have to perform is deletion from the array. Like we need shifting while inserting an element, we need shifting while deleting an element as well. The only difference is in insertion we shift backwards, in deletion we shift towards the position which has to be deleted. So the array now has 7 elements in this and we need to delete 90. 90 is at index 2. So we have to move this way, like this 50 should move and overwrite 90, then the 60 should move and overwrite 50 and so on. Now let's see this. So first A3 is shifted to A2 so that A2 is overwritten, we get 50 over there. Then A4 is shifted to A3. So that value of A4 comes at the position 3. Then value of A5 is shifted to A4. Then value of A6 is shifted to A5. And finally we turn A6 as 0 to show that there is no value in that position. And we decrease n by 1. To represent that the number of elements have decreased by one we have only six elements left in the array now and for this the algorithm is quite simple you have to read the position which has to be deleted start from the position itself which has to be deleted and you need to shift ai plus one at ai so a2 will be overridden by a3 a3 will be written by o a4 and so on till we reach the end and at the end, we put the last element as 0 and n as n minus 1 to represent that number of elements have decreased by 1. So this is the algo for deletion. Now let's execute the code for the same. So this is for deletion. And for deletion, I'm not going to ask the number because if I ask the number, I have to write the code for search also over here because we need to search the element in that case. We're just going to ask for the position in this example. So we are just going to ask like enter the position of the number to be deleted. So enter the position. And we take the position in this. And now the loop has to start from the position. Since the position as for the user is one greater than us, so we take it from position minus 1 and this time the loop has to go in increasing order and AI has to be overwritten by AI plus 1 because we are shifting inwards rather than shifting backwards. And at the end, wherever your I has reached, that element should be initialized with 0 and N should be decreased. So after deletion, the array is this, and this is the array before deletion. And okay, we have six numbers, that's fine. So let's run the program. So these are the numbers. I want to delete the number at position 3, that is 12 should get deleted. So it's gone. Try another one. 
you want 55 to be deleted so that's at position 5 so 55 is gone so that's how we perform deletion in an error so always remember shifting is very important for performing insertion and deletion in arrays for insertion we shift towards right and for deletion we shift towards left hope you understood how insertion and deletion works in arrays irrespective of the size of the arrays the algorithm remains the same so if you found that the video was useful to understand the concept of insertion and deletion in arrays do like the video share with your friends and subscribe the channel to download the programs i'm providing the links in the description section so you can download the programs from there thank you